Hey Tubies, I am back again with another segment of Question Time with Chatty Tay. Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I have another set of questions for y'all that I'm going to just go right into and let's see what they got for us today. All right, so my mom has been dating this new guy and she's turning 50 in two weeks. So we're throwing her a party, but the thing is, no one likes him. No one wants him to come because, no one wants to come, sorry, to the party because he will be there. What should I do? I, I don't think she's as happy as she should be. Okay. So, the thing about you saying that she, you don't think she's as happy as she should be, um, as her child... I would have a conversation with her about that maybe on the side but um, if she tells you that she's happy which I'm pretty sure she's gonna tell you that she's happy um, then you're gonna have to have the party with him there because that's a part of your mom's happiness and at 50 years old I'm sure um, she if she's tur sorry she's turning 50 years old I'm sure she kind of has an idea about what she wants um, and I mean, as far as everybody saying they don't want to come because she's going to be there, you're going to have to sit down with your family and everybody that you're inviting and let them know, hey, mom says she's happy if she says she's happy. Mom says she's happy and we're going to have to fake it because this party is for her. So, I mean, y'all can't let one person ruin the party. You know what I'm saying? So just ignore him when he comes if you don't like him. But if that's what your mom wants as far as in being in her life, then you're going to have to just kind of suck it up and accept it because she's a grown woman. So happy birthday to your mom in two weeks and go have that conversation. Guys below, I'm sure some of y'all have different thoughts. So please comment below because, you know, I we love to hear all the different opinions. Okay. The next question is, my husband caught our neighbor cheating. Ooh, juicy, juicy. These are the kind of questions I love. Okay. My husband caught our neighbor cheating on her on her husband in a different parking lots oh my gosh in different parking lots around town he wants to tell her husband as they are pretty close okay so the husband and your husband are pretty close I don't really speak to either of them other than friendly neighbor neighborly hellos I told my husband I don't want to be involved but he recorded her one time and has proof and insists on telling her husband oh my god I'm clutching my pearls okay hold on she improve she insists on telling her he insists on telling her husband because they're cool help should he show the proof oh my god okay so this is really juicy so you guys are neighbors so i mean you're stuck living there for right now unless y'all plan to move out like in the next five months no i don't think you should i think you should have your husband like hold off not say anything because it's going to involve you guys so much the fact that your husband is the one showing the video your husband is the one with all the proof and the receipts the receipts are what make it so juicy the fact that he has a video of her getting it on in the parking lots i think that you guys should just enjoy this as pillow talk for you two right now and keep the videos but i don't think that he should go knock on the door knock 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 you look what your wife's doing. No, no, no. I don't think you guys should do that only because you guys are neighbors, so you actually have to see them. You don't want to have issues with the wife. They're actually married, so it's like you don't want to be a part of that sticky situation. Um, yeah, even though it's so juicy and the fact that you have actual evidence. I don't know. I just, I would not want to get involved. I would have my husband not say anything. Um, that's just my advice guys below please comment and let me know what you guys would do because that one is so juicy <laughs> I wish I could see that video oh my god okay um, next question is that question was so juicy I loved it okay so my best friend is getting married in a couple months this better not be no okay let me just give it a chance my best friend is getting married in a couple months Oh, and has asked me to pay for half of her dress or half of her wedding cake. The thing is, I'm not in her wedding. Okay, wait. Okay, even though she calls me her best friend. Should I contribute? Okay, wait, what? 
you're not in her wedding you're not in her wedding but she's asking you to pay for so one of the biggest two of the, what half of the biggest parts of the wedding the dress or the cake no 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 okay so okay I okay personally I'm just gonna answer and be so straight up with you I would not pay for half of her dress or and I would not pay for half of her wedding um, cake because number one I'm if I'm your best friend I need to be in your damn wedding I mean I'm just saying I should be in your wedding why am I not in your wedding there's it should be I need some more information on that because why am I not in your wedding if I'm if I'm that special that I could buy pay for half your wedding cake or pay for half of your wedding dress which are both pricey things then I should be special enough to be in your wedding so what I would do is decline no I, don't, I think I already have something planned on what I'm gonna buy for you which is just gonna be a regular ass wedding wedding gift maybe something from her registry or something like that um, and then I would also have like I don't know I would be kind of like insulted I don't know I feel like that's such a generous contribution for her to request of you um, when she doesn't have you in any part of the wedding as anything special so I just feel like no no so girl bye girl bye that's my response but I mean y'all let me know if I'm being petty comment below because I could be being petty but this is just how I feel about it I don't feel like why would I be paying for something so big in your wedding and I'm not in your wedding if I'm your best friend I should be in your wedding in some part of your wedding you know what I'm saying comment below what your advice would have been what you think about my advice just let me know what you think okay and the final question is there is a barista um, at my local off at my local coffee shop okay a barista is an Italian word for a female or male bartender or like a server or something like that so just like a just like a regular server um, at my local coffee shop who is always flirting with me gives me free con coffee and compliments he hasn't asked me out yet should I ask him yes that's a very simple answer why not like why wouldn't you ask him out like women can ask men out too this is 2016 let's get with the times ask that person out what what do you have to lose for asking for asking you out clearly you're interested and clearly he's flirting and giving you compliments I would ask him out I mean you know just ask don't be shy so yes women can ask men out too and if you're feeling somebody don't be afraid to make the first move we're in a new age and a new time where you know just do whatever makes you feel like you know you like just do whatever makes you feel like you want to do it like you know just do it so I say do it go and ask him out and I hope that that leads into something really great um, and just have fun with it so that has been my round of questions for today I don't have any more unfortunately for today let me know what you guys think comment below with your questions with what you think about the show and just with whatever opinions you have about anything to do with this segment thanks so much for watching guys leave a thumbs up